channel so today i'll be showing you guys how to make this mini skirt which ruffle at the end so the first thing you're going to do is to cut out your fabric so as you can see i already have my front and my back panel how i got the measurements is just basically your hip measurement divided by four so the hip measurement i'm working with is 48 divided by four that's 12 plus extra one inch that's 13 so that's why i have 13 as my width here so as you can see this fabric is folded for the front and then the back panel i added about 1.5 inch for the zip allowance at the back so my 13 point 13 inches for the uh, pattern here one inch is for the seam allowance and then for the back panel is longer by 1.5 and it's also two piece here so you see i have four piece of fabric here so the next thing i'm going to do is this here is going to be the waist and this here is going to be the end and i'm using two inches for the band of the skirt so i want the body of the skirt to be 14 inches in total right so so i want the band um the total length without the ruffle at the end to be 14 inches so that's why i minus my uh two inches so now i have 12 inches two inches is going to be the band uh length so then i'm left with uh two inches subtract uh from the 14 that i'm talking about is going to be 12 inches so 12 inches plus extra one inch that's 13. the one inch is for half an inch for attaching the bottom to the ruffle and then the other half an inch is for attaching the top part to the band so that's how I have 12 inches here. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to divide my waist measurement by 4. So my waist measurement is 36 divided by 4. That's going to be 9 plus extra 2 inches. That's going to be 11. So you see 11 inches here. But remember for my hip, I already told you guys, is um, my hip divided by 4. That's going to be 48 divided by 4. 12 plus 1 is 13. So I'm going to mark my 13 here. And then, so I, what I'm going to do now is to come down uh, on my waist to my hip. I'm going to mark 8 inches. So that's this line that I drew here. And on this my hip line, I'm going to divide my hip measurement by 4, which is uh, 12. 48 divided by 4 is 12 plus extra 1. That's 13. I'm going to mark it here. And then I'm going to connect it to this line here. So after this here, the reason why I added 2 inches here and then I added just uh, 1 inch at the hip is because I'm still going to add my dart here. So the next thing I'm going to do is on this line here, I'm not going to subtract up to 1 inch because the distance is not that much from my hip to my thigh. So I, I might just go in by about, so right here I have 13 inches. So maybe here I'm going to just make it 12.5 instead so i subtracted like half an inch here because the distance from my hip to this is not much normally it's like when you're making a pencil skirt because of the length is lo longer you might want to uh subtract one inch but since it, the distance from my hip to this point here is not that much i'm just going to go by half an inch here so that subtract half an inch from the measurement i got on this my hip line here so I'm just going to connect this here. So you're going to come down by one inch from the hip line, which is somewhere here, and then connect this together and connect it this way. So this is my skirt here. So I'm just going to cut this out. So guys, the next thing I'm going to do is to go back to my waist. You can make yours longer. I know right now you're looking at it and thinking it's short, but remember I'm still going to add a band at the top and then add a ruffle at the end. So this is just the body of the skirt. So what I'm going to do now is to add my dart. If you're more on the smaller size, you might go in by 3.5. If you're more on the medium, you might just use 4 inches. If you're more on the bigger side, 4.5 from the center of your uh, skirt, the front pattern. So I'm going to just go with 4 inches here or 4.5 because this is more on the bigger side. So I, at this point here, you come down by... I will stop two inches before my hip line so that's somewhere about six inches down you're going to mark half an inch on this side half an inch on this side and then you're just going to connect it so this is your dart so this is how you're going to dart it on the four sides of this skirt here you can just notch it so you know where it is so i'm just going to go ahead put in my dart and close up the sides of the skirt so guys i've gone ahead and joined the skirt put in my uh that so the next thing is to add my my band so basically you're going to cut around your waist measurement plus extra two inches for your zip 
and then I'm and then the width I'm using here is five inches because two inches is what I said would be my band. But remember, if I fold this here, I'll have two inches on on this side, two inches on the other side, and then I have. I still have extra one inch remaining, right? So half an inch of it will be for folding this front and half an inch will be for folding this the band at the back. So you see, I'll take in half an inch in here and then half an inch in here. So now I have my complete uh, two inches for this band here. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to just go ahead, iron this here and then put in my band. So I've gone ahead and put in my band and also added my zip so you can see. So the next thing is just to add this this here. So to put this in, all you have to do is to measure out maybe two times of the bottom of your skirt. Like measure around this here and multiply. It. So what I'm using for my own ruffle is two, two times, but you can use 2.5 or you can use three times of the end of the, that's around the end of the skirt. So the width I'm using is um, 11 inches, but I'm going to have five inches on each side when I fold it because because uh, five inches on each side and then the extra one inch that made it 11 inch is just for the seam allowance to join it so i'm going to just fold it like the way you normally fold uh, a belt to make a belt so i'm going to just fold it into two and make a stitch all the way around to the end i flip this belt thing so basically you just attach it here and then you sew it all the way down so this is what i'm using just like how you normally make a belt but my width if you open it up like separate it if you separate it this way like the width here is 11 inches so after sewing it i have five inches between the two because i folded it and you see how i ironed it i didn't iron it like how you'd normally iron your belt and make this end here the stitch end on one side and then the folded part on one side instead i moved it and ironed it this way so my stitch is inside so now i have this curved part at the end and the curved part here so this line here will be hidden inside of my seam so what i'm going to do next now is to go to the sewing machine you can just go ahead and take these two ends here put it inside one another right put it this way and then fold the one on top and make a stitch to hold it down this way and then you start joining it so what you're going to do is just take this the way it is take one part of your skirt if you want you can start from the center find the center of this so if this is going to be at the center back the folded part then you know this is going to be your center front you take the center front here put it at the center of your skirt and then you start so you're going to just keep going this way and remember the part at the top is going to be more than the part at the bottom so the part i'm attaching is going to be like one inch down so one inch from this top to here is where i'm going to make my stitch all the way down so guys as you can see i've taken i've taken this one here and i've put it inside here so you see i've made it strong and i made a stitch so this is going to be at the center back of my skirt just at the bottom where the zip is so it's going to be so i'm going to just take this here and pin it i know that this is going to be at the center back here right so now i'm just going to distribute the rest of this hair all over the skirt so guys as you can see this is what i'm doing i place this my band on top of the end of the skirt and this is what i'm doing so i'm just folding it if i fold one piece i sew so i fold it this way and then i sew on top of it just like i'm making a pleat i fold it again and then i sew on top of it so that's how i'm doing it all the way i keep going and you see there's a place i marked my chalk this is where i'm going to know that this is the side of my the side of my skirt so i know that the pleat i'm i'm, I'm folding now i've reached the side of my skirt so as you can see this is what it looks like so basically you fold and then remember like i said i want one inch at the top of the flay and then so looking on that i know that i have i'm sewing on top of half an inch and then i have one inch here so that's how you just keep you just keep sewing you keep sewing you sew you fold another one and then you keep going so guys this is it here if you don't want yours like this pleated what you can do is pinch it like gather like you're trying to gather it instead of plating it you just pinch it like like this way and just keep pinching it all the way then it will look like gather it depends on what you want so this is it here and another thing is before you attach this try to use your um, weaving 
to weave the end of the skirt, right? The end. Because you see where I attach this on top of this, the end is just rough like this. So use your weaving to weave the end before you now put in the flap, this ruffle at the end. So that's basically, this is what mine looks like. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye.